Hello everybody and welcome to my 108th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how you can use the right click menu uh, additional buttons that were being created in the last couple of tutorials uh, and store them in an add-in so that people don't have to worry about the, the whole VBA uh, and it will work across all of their spreadsheets. Uh, so I've uh, I reopened tutorial 106 file, uh, which you can download from the link in the description uh, to our website. It will just be underneath the video. Um, and uh, if you haven't watched it already, then watch tutorial 106 because you'll need to understand this before it will work. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this into an add-in so it works across all of my spreadsheets without having this workbook open. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put in my add install and add add install. Um, and this is because I want to swap the workbook open and the workbook close out for the add in install and the add in uninstall. Um, because otherwise it's not going to install it when we tick on our add-in. So let's change the bore before close to our add-in install uh, and then change the private sub open to our workbook add install there. Uh, so now it will add the the extra option on add-in install uh, and it will take it off on the uninstall. Uh, so let's just do debug and compile VBA project uh so that we can um so that we can save it down as a added and then let's go to file save as uh and then we want to go to excel add in uh and I save it as right menu edition uh okay um and so now we've created our add in so that's uh save down our XLSM as tutorial 108 and close that off and let's just go into a new blank workbook you notice on the right click at the moment I have nothing available um, but if I go into my uh, add-ins uh, and then let's tick our we haven't installed it yet so let's go to browse right menu edition and so we've got right menu edition down here, press tick, press OK. And now we've got our uh, macro on the right click able to use. Um, and so that is how you create a macro which will adjust all of your right click options. Uh, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, if you're enjoying these tutorials, then I'm doing new ones every single Wednesday. Um, so if you, if you want to catch them then please click on the subscribe button uh, so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you in the next tutorial